Recently, the US National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration have said that every coast in the US is going to be hit by floods in the coming years. A new study from NASA and the University of Hawaii has revealed that this process may be hitting us sooner than expected, and this is because of changes in the moon's orbit, with the researchers saying that the data has shown them that these floods would be the biggest seen across the US, costing hundreds of billions of dollars in damage. This moon wobble, as it's been called by scientists, is expected to happen in 2030, and this lined up with maps created by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. These sea level rise scenarios coincide with the moon's wobble. NASA officials said that although this sounds like a brand new phenomena, they reported that it's actually a natural occurrence, and that some of the early recordings we have of this wobble date back to 1728. NASA said the following, in half of the moon's 18.6 year cycle, Earth's regular daily tides are suppressed. High tides are lower than normal, and low tides are higher than normal. In the other half of the cycle, tides are amplified. Higher tides get higher, and lower tides get lower. Global sea level rise pushes high tides in only one direction, higher. So half of the 18.6 year lunar cycle counteracts the effects of sea level rise and high tides, and the other half increases the effect. End quote. Although this is a natural occurrence, NASA said these floods will have big impacts on coastal regions around the US, saying that simulations have shown them that these floods won't just be bigger, but that they will happen much more often. Rather worryingly, NASA said that due to certain alignments, these floods would actually happen on a daily basis. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson said the following, Low-lying areas near sea level are increasingly at risk, and will suffer due to the increased flooding, and it will only get worse. The combination of the moon's gravitational pull, rising sea levels and climate change will continue to worsen coastal flooding and this is across our coastlines and the world." End quote. It's estimated that within the next 100 years, over 100 million people living on coastlines across the world will have to move, as these areas will become completely or partially submerged by changing water levels. As highlighted by the researchers who worked on the data, they said that the real danger here isn't so much the volume, but the frequency in which these floods will hit the coastal regions. The sad thing is there's not really much we can do if this starts to happen. We can try and prevent floods by using barriers, but as mentioned by the researchers, if a business is operating in an area that's getting hit by daily floods, it will eventually become submerged. People will no longer be able to work and live in the surrounding area, and that business may end up firing employees. They said this could be a trend that many will experience across the United States, and that as of right now we're going to find it extremely difficult to combat these extreme floods. On July 14th, 2021, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration said the following on their website. Coastal communities across the US saw record-setting high tide flooding last year, forcing residents to deal with flooded shorelines, streets and basements, a trend that is expected to continue into 2022, and beyond without improved flood defences. High waters are affecting coastal economies, and crucial infrastructure like waste and storm systems and roads. The report's 2021 State of High Tide Flooding and Annual Outlook reports changes in high tide flooding from May 2020 to April 2021, this provides a flooding outlook for these locations through April 2022, as well as projections for the next several decades. High tide flooding, often referred to as nuisance or sunny day flooding, is increasingly common due to years of sea level rise. It occurs when tides reach anywhere from 1.75 to 2 feet above the daily average, and start spilling onto streets or bubbling up from storm drains. As sea level rise continues, damaging floods that decades ago happened only during a storm are now happening more regularly, 
such as during a full moon tide or with a change in prevailing winds or currents. Nicole LeBeouf, director of NOAA's National Ocean Service, said the following. NOAA's tide gauges show that 80% of locations where we collect data along the southeast Atlantic and Gulf Coast is seeing an acceleration in the number of flood days. High tide flooding disrupts people's lives when they can't get to and from work or have to repeatedly deal with flooded basements. NOAA is committed to working with coastal communities to provide the information and tools they need and will guide them how to deal with high tide flooding. Both now and in the coming years as sea levels continue to rise. NOAA's water level records highlight regions of particular concern in Texas and Florida, with records also broken along the coasts of South Carolina and Georgia. From May 2020 to April 2021, Galveston, Texas, Corpus Christi, Texas and Bay Waveland, Mississippi set a record of more than 20 days of high tide flooding. These locations would typically only flood two to three days each year. Louisiana, Texas and Panama Beach, Florida all saw between 10 and 20 days of flooding. In 2000, these locations typically saw between zero to two days of high tide flooding. According to NOAA, it's projected that high tide flooding around the American coastlines this year will surpass typical levels of flooding, and this is by around 60%. This has scientists worried as it was initially thought it wouldn't be as high as this. Within the next 30 years, it's estimated that around 300,000 homes in the country, with a combined value of 117 billion, are likely to be at risk of chronic flooding. So what do you make of this recent announcement? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.